Welcome back. Salmon Arm Roots and Blues Festival coming up quite quickly, August 17th to 20th. Uh, this has become an annual event, a fantastic event. Peter North is the artistic director joining us back on the show. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Yes, thanks for making the trip in from Salmon Arm today. My pleasure. Yeah, a uh, ton of different acts coming this year. Yeah, we're, uh, we've got a really good lineup. We think last year we thought we did, and, and figures proved we did. We're coming off the third best festival in the 24 years of the festival, so that's really nice. We all breathe from here now instead of from here. Right, isn't you that know. nice? It's really nice. Yeah, so uh, who are the headliners? Ricky Skaggs, uh, the great Booker T, who fronted Booker T and the MGs for so many years, is doing this whole stacks review of all those great uh, uh, people who were on that label for so many years, from Aretha Franklin to Otis Redding to Rufus Thomas, Isaac Hayes. So, mm -hmm. ten piece band. He's bringing a kid named Julian Ledette with him, awesome. who's uh, one who was third place in American Idol a few years ago. Okay, Kill we got him. a little video of Ricky Skaggs we can listen to. Uh, what is he best known for? I don't know his music very well, Peter. So, tell fourteen us Grammy about. Awards, huge country act from the mid '80s till the mid '90s, and now went back to bluegrass. And he's won a whole bunch more Grammys doing his bluegrass thing. Yeah, good yeah. for him. Is he Canadian? No, he's from Kentucky. Okay. And probably one of the two biggest bluegrass acts in the world. Him and Alison Krauss, I'd say, are the two biggest. That's awesome. So yeah. he's going to be performing. Is he there the first day or what Closing is he Closing Friday night, and he's also doing a big workshop with some Celtic guys from Ireland on, uh, to kick off the festival awesome. on one of the smaller stages Yeah, uh, in the afternoon. Awesome. We can pull out of those visuals. Thank you very much for that. Uh, as well, Alex Cuba. He was actually on our midday show the last time he was in town. Which he was, was just here with the symphony, right? That's what he was here for. I didn't do midday that day. Uh. Somebody's filling in for me, but I know he is also excellent. You know, a young Cuban man who moved here a number of years ago, lives up in Smithers, has won two <laughs> Grammys now, and just gets... I mean, it's like last year with Whitehorse and Matt Anderson just hit another plateau again yeah, yeah. and and just wonderful music and he's doing a lot of he's got all Cubans in his band yeah. this year. He mm. grew up in Smithers. He well he moved to Smithers as around he was around 23 24 okay. and he emigrated to Canada from Cuba. Isn't that yeah. interesting? I bet yeah. he has a story or two. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's a fantastic artist as well. Then we have some pictures of some of the other performers that we can quickly allude to here. Uh, quite a lineup. Well, the last two years we've done a tribute to the Grateful Dead, then the band. This year it's to Joe Cocker's Mad Dogs and Englishmen and a 17-piece band coming to take care of the entire Mad Dogs and Englishmen show that was such a big hit in the early 70s, awesome. closing the barn on Saturday night. Nice. We can flip through these pictures. One of Canada's uh, gifts from the States to us in the world of blues, lives in Kelowna now, Kenny Blues Boss Wayne, multiple award winner, recent winner at the Maple Blues Awards winner, one of the best piano players in blues. Mm -hmm. Coco Jaffro, they do a lot of soul music and they will be in our barn on Saturday night. Very nice. April Virch is one of the best fiddle players in a long history of great fiddle players in this country and I'd seen her for years and then I started Celtic Colors in PEI a couple of years ago and her Show has just gone through the roof. Mm -hmm. Irish Mython has a voice like a siren. She, I mean, you know when you first heard Katie Lang's voice? Mm -hmm. Sort of like... Well, she kind of looks yeah. like Katie Lang, Well, I she does a little bit, and man, can she sing. Yeah. She is unbelievable. Saw Dylan Menzi in PEI last uh, fall at the PEI showcase. 21 years old, fully formed artist. He's, he walked off the stage. I walked over to his manager and said... I want this kid at this festival this summer. That's so awesome. Frazee Ford, one of Canada's best music ambassadors these days, um, had an album that was such a success, America and here two years ago, has a whole bunch of new music and she's closing Friday night. That's awesome. Five Alarm Funk are a favorite. Haven't been at our festival for a couple of three, four years. Mm -hmm. They're going to do our barn on the Sunday night and then they're also going to play for the volunteers. Awesome. Ultimata, young band out of Alberta. My kids actually told me, go see this band. Oh, really? That's so I went the last in uh, last fall. I went to <clears> see them and was absolutely knocked out. And awesome. Hats off to my kids. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Maria Dunn is a Juno, win Juno nominated and folk uh, music award winner from Edmonton, who's a big social conscious. Talking Dreads. Look like it, don't they? A reggae band. Mm -hmm. And they do all Talking Heads music. And nice. the lead singer used to sing with all the people from Talking oh, Heads. So he's got yeah. a great... Good. Another individual who emigrated to Canada a few years ago from West Africa, Zal Sissoko. He plays the multi-string Cora. Lives in Montreal now. Really nice man. Really great act. I met Keith Scott 30 years ago when he was touring with a Chicago blues band by a guy named Jimmy Dawkins. Hadn't seen him in years. And he was playing in Cologne and Sam and Arm last summer. Awesome. And he's a really good blues guitar player. Needless to say, a ton of different uh, groups coming in that offer something for, for everybody. For all ages, I think. You yes. know, once again, for people who are in their early 20s to people who are in their 
early, early 80s. 80s. Sure, yeah. let's go with that. Tell me this, if you want to just get a one-day ticket, can you do that, or do you have to buy for the whole weekend? One-day tickets are on sale now. Just went on sale on June 1st. Awesome. So if you just want to come Friday or, you know, work permits you to only come a certain day, yeah, mm -hmm. no problem. Excellent. And you All can right. buy evening tickets, too. Perfect. So you can make an evening yeah. out of it if you can't be there the whole weekend. Uh, this is a great, great festival. 24 years in running. Roots and Blues and Salmon Arm. Peter, we thank you very much for being here to tell thank us about you, it. Susan. Yes, uh, website's on the screen as well. If you'd like to check out the rest of the lineup, we didn't show everybody. We showed some of them, but there's a lot acts. more. 40 acts. That's impressive. Fantastic. Uh, we will take a quick break. We will be right back. Stay with us.